Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to talk about how much RAM do you need to hack? I can't believe I'm actually making this video, but anyway. So a question I get asked too often is how much RAM do I need to hack and what sort of processor or graphics card do I need? Now, this question actually really annoys me to be honest because it's it's just one of those things where there's no real answer to it so i'm just going to give you the raw dc version of it so it's probably going to be the quickest video i've ever done so to hack anything all you really need is any computer literally anything now i'll use my work computer as an example this here is my work computer it's a hp elite book something i actually don't know it's uh i think it's an i5 probably and i'm pretty sure it's got eight gig of ram now i use this computer every single day every single day i do two different audits every single day on different types of systems and i've never really run into a problem where i needed more graphical power or more memory or anything like that sure it would be nice to have a, a supercomputer, but you just don't need it. Another example is this little Raspberry Pi right here. It's a 3B plus, I think. I can't even remember, it's so old. And um, yeah, I've used this for different types of hacking as well. But yeah, I guess the point I'm trying to make here is it depends on what you're trying to hack into to what you might need. Now, an example where you might need something that's a little bit more intense than just the Raspberry Pi or a laptop is if you're crunching through a whole bunch of encrypted keys. So maybe you've got like a huge list of keys and a, an enormous key list, right? And you, you just wanna crunch through as many of them as you can and potentially get some passwords out of it or whatever information is hidden in, in those encrypted files. Sure, then maybe something like a Bitcoin mining computer would be pretty handy, but it's definitely not common. It's not something you, you run into sort of every day and you, you just, don't need it. I've made videos in the past of like, what's the best hacking laptop for 2020 and, and all this sort of stuff. And to be honest, they are literally just clickbait videos. If you've ever watched them, you'll notice that I just go through a list of like the top five gaming laptops because I figure that's probably what people want to hear. The truth is though, the raw truth is that you don't need much at all. My computer that I use every single day, this guy on the side here is a Dell something, I have no idea. It's it's an old computer that a client of mine was gonna throw away because the hard drive was screwed. So I said, yep, I'll take it, no problems. I put a new hard drive in it, upgraded the RAM to 16 gig, and it works just fine. Sure, it doesn't really play any games, but for me, that's okay because I don't really play that many games anyway, except for Among Us, which let's be honest, doesn't require any sort of computing power. But yeah, the, the point is you really don't need much at all. So I guess as a minimum, maybe like four gig of RAM would probably do you just fine. If you wanna go out there and spend a whole bunch of money on some crazy computer that is gonna you know, play games and do all of your hacking stuff, that's absolutely fine. That's up to you if you want to spend the money. The point is though, you don't really need it. And it mostly depends on what you wanna use that computer for, because at the end of the day, it's just a tool. Now for me, I use my computer to make money, to do jobs, right? That's, that's entirely what it's for. Therefore, I don't need a graphics card or, or anything too crazy there to play games and stuff because I'm not actually playing any games. I usually, if I play any games, it's on my phone usually. So the whole sort of argument and the, the question that constantly comes my way on how much RAM I need to hack Go with four gig and work your way up from there. If you find it's too slow, upgrade it. This is, has kind of turned into a bit of a rant video about how annoying this question is, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Just get any old computer, get a Raspberry Pi for fuck's sake. It doesn't matter. Get something that's gonna load whatever system you want on it. If you're gonna be running Arch or Ubuntu or some sort of Linux distro, that's fine. If you're gonna run Windows, no drama, use whatever you want. I use Windows at work all the time. If you wanna use Mac, I've used Mac in the past. I used Mac for the last four years and it was absolutely fine. I did everything I wanted to do. It worked fine. It didn't play any games, but that's fine because I don't actually play any games. If I had a graphics card, would I play games? Probably not. I just don't have time for it. I don't have time for silly questions like how much RAM do I need to hack? It's just one of those stupid things that comes up way too often that has forced me 
to make this video. Anyway, that's all I've got time for on this rant video. If you did enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more rants, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch you later, guys. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to say that DC Cyber Sick is the best YouTuber in the world. He is best hacker in the world. He is best at everything in the world. Please smash that like button and please make sure to subscribe and please turn on post notifications.